Around the 13th century in Europe, years ago, it was common in some monasteries, on top of the usual daily chores and daily prayers, boys training to be sanctified monks would be taught various artistic skills, such as painting or sculpture. And at the end of every term, when the boys had finished their training, the brethren would select one chosen novice from among the lot of young artists who showed exceptional talent and skill. And this tradition, passed down from generation to generation, is realized in the modern-day story of Nicolasa. I'm pleased, Brother John, very pleased. They're doing excellent work. Indeed they are. It's a fine lot of boys we've had these past five years. Very devout and focused. And so passionate about their work, their artwork. Yes, of course, their art. Very talented artists they are. Brother John, have you considered which boy should receive the Master Artist Award? I've given it much thought, and I believe Arthur is worthy of the consideration. Arthur? Well, he is gifted. You don't agree. You have someone else in mind. Nicolosa. Brother Patrick, I readily admit that he is the most talented artist we have here, that we've ever had here, but there's something about him that concerns me. His devotion and dedication to his art is extraordinary, but it's excessive, almost idolatrous. He races through his chores, his meals, his studies, just so that he can get back to work on his vase. I rarely see him praying or fellowshipping with the other boys, and as you very well know, I've caught him sleeping while he was in prayer group. Brother John, we are to select the most promising, talented, and skilled young novice we have at the monastery. Granted. But Nicolosa's obsessive attitude is unhealthy. An award in honor such as this would only encourage his kind of behavior. Exactly. That is why I have something different planned for young Nicolasa. Something in addition to our usual ritual when we present the honor. What do you mean? <laughs> by yourself? Every centimeter of it. Oh, wow. I can't believe you did this. Now, now, be careful with it. Oh, I know. I, I, I mean, don't touch it. Oh, oh don't touch it? Yeah. What, what, do you think I'm gonna break it? <laughs> no, I, I'm serious. Please, please, don't touch it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna break it. Look at you. 
Yesterday, I'm, I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. No, I mean it. I, I'm really sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. I, I was way out of line. It's all right. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, congratulations. Congratulations for what? You didn't hear? <laughs> the Master Artist Award. Oh, well, well, rumor has it that, that they're going to present their honors uh, to you today. To me? Really? You deserve it. Nicolasa. Father? Father Patrick and I would like to speak to you for a moment, please. As you know, at the end of each term, when you novices are ready to graduate into God's full service as fellow brethren, it is our tradition to recognize one of such talent and skill as an artist. Well, we have uh, decided that you are deserving of this honor. Thank you, fathers. This is wonderful. We've heard that this work of art of yours, this vase, is almost complete. Every waking moment, day and night, night and day, any time I've had a free moment, it's been dedicated to the perfection and completion of my sculpture. And I am pleased to say that it is finally complete. Show us this masterpiece. Father. Oh, yes, yes. It is, uh, it's very beautiful. Notice the detail I've put into it. Not one little speck has escaped my attention. And the colors, vivid. And, and the texture, well, I used the best materials I could find. It is breathtaking, and I can tell you're proud of it. You must have spent so long on this. Five, five years. Why did you do that? I don't believe this. Why did you do that? Oh, my masterpiece gone. Why? 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 Why did you do that? The Colossus. You must rebuild it. Rebuild it? Are you crazy? It took me five years to build it. And it was perfect. Perfect. Nicolosa, you have got to build it back. I can't! After you've pieced it together, it'll be even more glorious than before. Trust me. I can't. Father. Nicolas, I know that it's hard. And I know you don't understand. What is there to understand? You've destroyed the most precious thing in my life. 
Nicolasa, have you thought about piecing your vase back together? No. What would be the point? I know you don't understand this now, but you must trust me and follow me, and one day you will. These broken pieces can be a new creation, much more beautiful than you've imagined. Father, forgive me, but it was beautiful and perfect the way it was before. Oh, it would take me forever to put it back together, and, and besides, all it would be then is the shell of what once used to be something special. Nicolasa, you have so much to learn. <sighs> Father, look at it. Nicolasa, look at me. You must trust me, that's all I can say. Just trust me, I've been there. And at the end of this journey is a joy inexpressible. If you trust me. Father, I'm sorry, but, but I don't think that you understand. trust you. As the young artist would begin to gather up his shattered masterpiece, he would slowly start to piece back every tiny sliver, only then realizing the significance. For the adherence used as glue consisted of gold. So when the work was complete, there within every crevice, every crack, every shattered fragment, shined pure, illustrious gold work of art even more beautiful than before. In your brokenness, in your frailty, let God shine. Realize he is there surrounding each hurting piece, every broken heart, each shattered dream. He's there, and he surrounds it with gold. His glorious light embraces the brokenness.